Quick message to all our viewers before we get started on today's video. It has come to our attention that over 90% of our regular viewers are not subscribed to the channel. We request you to please click the subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can be notified when the next video from Mythlok is out. The bigger the channel gets, the better the quality of videos that we do for you also gets. So please help us make some amazing videos by supporting the channel and clicking that subscribe button. Thank you. Now over to the video. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Mythlok with your host Nitin Nair. In our last episode, we looked at the Egyptian Sphinx and as promised, today we are going to be looking at another version of the Sphinx and this time the more popular Europeanized version of the Greek Sphinx. Our endeavor is to really compare the two sphinxes or the two characters and see how similar they are and how distinct they are, mainly because of the fact that they have been attributed with almost the exact same attributes that we have seen in all these characters. Now, there are multiple other sphinxes around the world in various mythologies who have similar characteristics, but not called the sphinx by any stretch of imagination or research and study. The mythological creature known as the Sphinx is an important figure in both Greek and Egyptian legend and art. It has a lion's body and a human head. The word was derived from the Greek word to bind or to squeeze, but its origin is not related to the legend. The earliest known mention of the creature was by Hesiod, who has done a great job in compiling a lot of Greek myths and stories that help us with our research today. The story of the Sphinx of Thebes, which is regarded as the most famous figure in legend, revolves around the creature's terrifying behavior when it demanded the correct answer to a riddle that was taught to it by the Muses. Failing to answer that question would lead to the Sphinx devouring the person. The legend of the Sphinx being an omniscient being has grown and its wisdom still remains relevant today. In Greek mythology, the Sphinx is depicted as a woman's head instead of a man's. It also has the wings of an eagle and the tail and body of a lion. According to Pliny the Elder, Ethiopia produces numerous sphinxes and experts from the 20th century have confirmed that the creatures have brown hair and breasts based on archaeological findings. According to Statius, the sphinx is a winged creature with a long tail and a cloud of gore resting on its face. Its wings are sometimes described as those of an eagle and a serpent-headed tail. Hesoid believed that the Sphinx was the daughter of the Orthus and the Echidna. Lassus and Apollodorus also believed that it was the daughter of Typhon and Echidna. We have talked about Echidna and the mother of many beasts in an earlier episode. Please feel free to go check that out as well. Furthermore, historians still do not know where the Sphinx originated as even in Greek mythology, the lore suggests that Sphinx came from places such as far away as Africa. The source and versions of the name of the Sphinx are not known and researchers have been at loggerheads coming to a common conclusion for the same. The story of the Sphinx guarding the entrance of Thebes states that it asked for a riddle to allow travelers to pass through. The exact answer given by the creature was not specified by the earlier tellers of the myth. According to the lore, Hera or Ares sent the Sphinx to Thebes from her Ethiopian homeland. Upon entering Thebes, the creature demanded the correct answer to the most famous riddle in history. Which creature has one voice and yet becomes four-footed, two-footed and three-footed? It would then attack anyone who could not provide the correct answer. In order to solve the riddle, Oedipus had to explain that a man can walk on all fours at an early age and he can use a walking stick in old age. Some accounts, however, state that there was a second answer as well. It states that there are two sisters, one of which gives birth to the other, while the latter gives birth to the first. The second riddle in the story asks who the two sisters are. In ancient Greek, the word day and night refers to feminine and this is believed to be the answer. The Sphinx was bested at last. 
In some versions, Oedipus kills the creature, while others claim that it devoured itself. Both versions of the story help explain the transition between old and new religious practices. As a threshold figure, Oedipus can be regarded as a unifying force that helps guide the rise of the Olympian gods. The concept of answering a riddle to gain access to some great treasure has been replicated in numerous movies and other pop cultural references. Many Greek retellings in video games also place the Sphinx in crucial plot roles especially before major boss fights or transitions to the next level. The Greek Sphinx obviously has a very different story arc and a character arc when compared to the Egyptian version but is still very much decidedly of the same character who was probably adopted by the other. With both mythologies referring to the origin of the Sphinxes from places like ancient Ethiopia, it can be considered that this is the same creature that they are both speaking about, but it has been modified slightly to fit the taste of the mythology of the region as well. In our next two episodes, we will be looking at another character who is famous the world over, but people tend to mistake the two regions of mythologies where that character came from. Thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of Mythlok. So until next time, drop us a like, subscribe or a comment or tell your friends and family about Mythlok and ask them to join us on this journey that we are on together as well. This is your host, Nitin Naya, signing out by reminding you once again that Mythlok is the home of mythology.